Good evening and welcome back to Be Rich. Today the global market is in serious turmoil. All asset classes are crashing together. Whether it is bonds or stocks or gold or Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, everything is crashing. And normally when currency, when all asset classes crashes, most humans tend to panic. This is because our brain is used to function in a primitive manner. At the first sign of danger, it decides whether it should fight or flee. And mostly in danger, it is flee. And therefore, investing is also like sighting danger. Since our human survival instinct is very basic to humans, it became very clear very soon that at the first sign of danger, the, the, the signal does not go to your brain where you can, the second stage thinking comes into play. The response comes from the amygdala that you have to flee. And this is the reason when you go to a sale in a supermarket, you are very happy. But at the same time, when you go and stock market sale is announced and prices crash by 50%, you are extremely unhappy. You are extremely unhappy because your value of your holdings is dropping continuously. As Daniel Kehman and Amos Travesky pointed out to us many years ago, that the pain of a loss is twice as the joy of the same gain. That is, if you make $20, the joy you get is half the pain you feel when losing the same $20. Therefore, people do not want stock prices to fall and they always want to want it to keep growing. But when things like crypto assets come, to, come into play, people lose their sense of balance. And when people lose their sense of balance, it becomes very difficult. And therefore, the fear of missing takes over and envy takes over. They make irrational judgments on what they can do. And therefore, they jump to the bandwagon without realizing what they are doing. They buy because the next door Jones has bought and there is no way you can lose on the sure thing. As Bitcoin kept on rallying and Ethereum kept on lying, the guys who did not invest were looking like idiots. And the guys who stayed out like Munger and Buffer became old senile fools. And you were lulled into investing because your next door man in participated. When the prices dropped, you were the first to go through the door. So the question I want to propose to you today is how can you invest like Munger or Buffett. How do you avoid the emotional tug of envy or fear of missing out or stay calm when the market is doing badly and when there is enough blood on the street and there is the correct time to buy the stock? The answer was given in a quote by Warren Buffett. This is basically an emotional intelligence and one has to be emotionally intelligent if you want to participate in asset classes where prices move up and down. In most cases, what happens is when prices move up and down, our emotions trump intelligence. This is why Warren has said at several places at several times, it is not important to be extraordinarily intelligent. That is, an IQ of 120 to 130 is enough to make you a good investor. What you need is nerves of steel and being very calm under pressure, which high IQ does not give you and only emotional intelligence gives you. So the Buffett quote is very simple. He said, I don't try to jump over sound foot bars. I try to go around looking for one foot bars and just hop across them. The problem with most of us is we want to invest in fads and what is the flavor of the month. If everybody in the world is talking of a tech startup, we want to do a tech startup. We are not interested to find out whether we understand the technology or we do not understand the technology. Whether that business is profitable, whether it is positive cash flow and whether finally this company will turn profitable. We decide that we want to jump in because your neighbors have jumped in. Whereas what Buffett says is that there are, for especially for a small and retail investor, there are enough small businesses which are available at very attractive valuations. And with these attractive valuations, there is no way you can lose money. This always happens when the market is in a bare face. Whether the business is sexy and hot today is not important. 
as long as you can buy the product, make the product and sell it for a sufficient margin and there is steady demand, you can always buy that stock. Remember when, Proc when Buffett liquidated his position in Procter & Gamble, he took some cash and asked for the Duracell business of Procter & Gamble. Duracell business was declining because Procter & Gamble didn't see growth because most of the Duracell batteries used for TV remotes and for children playing toys. Unfortunately, that demand was stagnant. But Buffett believed several years ago that the world of TV remotes had not yet gone out. And still, TV, as long as there were TV remotes, Duracell would be in business and he would continue to sell them and make a small profit out of them. And several years after he exited Pro Procter & Gamble, with great profits with cash in hand and Duracell business. The Duracell business has continued to go from strength to strength and there is no sign of TV remotes and toys going out of business. I am sure he has already made several times the money he got, supposed to have invested at the time of the exit. The real money he invested was much less because he got cash back for the money he invested and this came out as an extra business. If you actually count at the end of the day, the billions of dollars he has made came from a several few million dollars he invested in Procter & Gamble at the right time. This is a one foot bar when he decided to exit Procter & Gamble. Like this, business provides us an opportunity to, cross, to jump across several one foot bars. It's up to us to find out whether we can jump it or not. But one has to be very patient and wait at times for eternity before such one foot bars come. And when it comes, we must pounce. In his portfolio, American Express and Coca-Cola, both he invested after waiting patiently for a long time where opportunities were, were opportunities that he waited for a long time and then pounced when the going was good. He has made extraordinary returns. Therefore, it's up to you to go looking for one foot bars instead of trying to jump across your seven foot bar at any time. Thank you for watching, Be Rich. If you like this content, kindly consider sharing with your friends and relatives. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe, press the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. I thank you for supporting Be Rich once again. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support.